In 1969, the astronauts conducted three alleged science experiments on the moon, one of which is still in operation today. It is the Lunar Laser Reflector, which allows a giant laser on Earth to be pointed at the Apollo 11 landing site. Then, it bounces back to the same place it came from on Earth. I traveled to the McDonald Observatory, one of only two places in the world which currently laser range off the moon. Laser ranging was originally used to measure the exact distance between the Earth and the Moon. And tonight, the crew here has agreed to once again aim for the Apollo 11 reflector. Right underneath that spot is the Apollo 11 site, and Ken is, is adjusting uh, the pointing of the telescope so we, we point as, as absolutely as we can to something that we can't see. That's why it's very difficult to do that. Our light's going from here to the moon and back. And uh, these corner reflectors reflect the energy that strikes it back to the Earth. And if we're lucky, that energy comes back into our telescope and we detect it. Did you get another one? Yeah, he's got another one, another return. There's something important at, at this, this part of the graph and that's these dots along here that are adding up. And to us, that means that we actually have received our light back from the reflector at Apollo 11. You satisfied that we have reflected off the moon as technician here? Yes. Well, gentlemen, it's time for the moon laser victory dance. All right, here, here we go. All right, let's see those feet moving. Apollo 11. Apollo 11. Give yourself an hand, we did it. Yeah. It turns out I celebrated a little too early, as I later discover that the Russians had landed a laser reflector on this unmanned lunar probe. Could the Americans have done the same? <laughs>